Hello friends and welcome to our tutorial. So, as many of you might know, After Effects was recently updated to a new 2023 version and the program received a bunch of new cool features, which I'd like to show you in this video. So, let's jump into After Effects and see what's new. So, the first new feature that I want to talk about is the new composition presets. So, let's create a new comp. And now we see that we've got a whole bunch of new modern up-to-date presets such as HD, Ultra HD, presets for social media and stuff like that. Very handy and very cool. Next feature is the ability to separate dimensions of the position by default. So if I'm gonna bring up the position property of this null object, we can see that the position is uh, connected. So the X and Y position are controlled by one keyframe. And to separate these dimensions, I'd have to click on the position and select separate dimensions. Well, now we can do this by default. So let's go to preferences. And in the general, just uh, select the default position properties to separate dimensions. And now, when I'm gonna create a new null object, for example, if I'm gonna bring up the position property, we'll see that the x and y axis of the position are now separated. Cool! Let's go on to the next feature. So, the next feature it's not quite new because it was present in the previous versions of After Effects, but at some point the Adobe has removed it. But now they brought it back and this is the ability to render to H264 without media encoder. So, if I'm gonna hit render to my composition, I'm gonna see that now we have some presets to render to H264 without media encoder. And this is very cool and I personally love it a lot. Thank you Adobe! Okay, so the next feature is, is really a game changer because it saves so much of time and it actually impacts the workflow a lot. And this feature is the track mats. So, if you are not familiar with track mats, um, this is the ability of the one layer to take its alpha from another. For example, I'll take this texture and I want this texture to... Uh, to uh, receive its alpha from this text. And to do this, in the older version of After Effects, I had to place my layer beneath the text and say it to, to receive its alpha from the text. And if I would move this layer down or anywhere else in the composition, this connection would be lost. But now, as you can see, if I'm changing the, the position of the layer, everything stays the same. But wait, there's actually more of this. Because we can add multiple textures to, to get their alpha from the same layer. I already prepared some textures. And now, if I'm gonna bring up my text, select my textures, and just pick with my text, I can see that all of my letters on my layer have different uh, different textures applied to it. This is very cool and a real game changer and it's probably one of my favorite features. Okay guys, and the final new feature on this list and probably one of my favorites, not to mention the previous one, is the keyframe labels. So as you can see the keyframes are now looking a bit more differently and if we select some keyframes, we can label them. And also what we can do, we can select the keyframes by the label. So I'm gonna select thread one and I can select the label group on selected layers. So only the keyframes which are colored in red will be selected on this layer. I can select my red keyframes on all layers. And I can also select the red keyframes only on visible 
layers. So it's a very cool feature which will definitely save a lot of time. This will keep the workflow much more tidier. And thank you Adobe, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.